Bonjour, je m'appelle Reese. Comment t'appelles tu? Storm, Anagom, the South African. There we go. So, <laughs> hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. We are in for push today. Um, Storm is one of my clients. He's been, we pretty much, we're prepping for this year. Uh, I saw him like ages ago when you originally followed me and he applied for coaching and I was like, oh, this is going to be a pretty exciting project. So Storm's probably roughly like four to maybe eight weeks out from starting prep. Definitely not four to eight weeks out now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm watching that. But we're going to basically go through a session, see how he's doing in person, see how he's looking, give us a good indication for where he's at. And I thought it kind of made sense, Sam. We originally were going to be filming two weeks ago, but I broke Sam's mic, so I'm sorry, Sam. But uh, basically, push session for me. If you, any of you guys can, I'm guessing you probably do. Current update for me, I did a reel like recently that I think I'll probably upload in the next few days, so check that out. But basically, it's currently the 19th of March. I am like six and a bit weeks now, up into like my ped escalation. The last four weeks have been spent building up calories. So food's been worked up, body weight's been worked up. I'm only five kilos off my lifetime heaviest, which is pretty exciting because realistically, I've probably got about eight to 10 kilos to gain. So strength in a really good spot, training's in a really, like, everything's just in a really good position. So I'll probably do a bit more of a talk about, let's say me, but for this video, it's gonna be just literally my current push session, taking Storm to a session, seeing how he's looking, making reels, all that stuff that Sam absolutely loves. And, uh, and then yeah, we'll take you through it. So hopefully everyone enjoys. We are in Ultraflex Derby, the usual gym, the not the hashtag Mecca, but soon to be. So yeah, that's that. Lateral race first. Cool. Go again. Yeah, come on. Yeah, good, oh. good. Go again, go again, go again. One more. Yeah, nice, nice. Try and touch my hand, or touch my arm, then try and touch it here. So do you see that difference where you're like almost leaning forward? Lean into it and really try and think to up and get them up and away. I remember there was a men's physique guy years ago and it was like side delt training, like don't think up and above, think up and away. Dual arm there. We're we rolling, Sam. Well, guys, so first exercise, we are doing the Jim Leco. It says Jim Leco Sweden, but Jim Leco lateral raise. We are doing three sets here. We've gone for a medium set into a heavy set into a like moderately high rep set. Dual arm for the last set, time efficiency, and also on the heavier sets, so the first two more so. I quite like almost being able to lean into the side and just leverage a bit more stability and really think to drive like my arm up and away, which we made a reel about. So the resets here, I'm not really, I said, I said this every time I train push, I don't really need much more side delt. If anything, I probably need less, but side delt work is just minimal volume. It helps me stabilize when I go into my presses. And so far, Storm has done me on the lateral raise. So one nil to him. Gonna have to step it up in the presses. We've got four presses. I'm going to blame my shoulder tax, but it's going to be a good battle. It's going to be a good battle. So, yeah, we'll see how things are. So, Storm's just finished up. Going to head down and get cracking with the first main press. Sam, all good? Yeah. Sam, cool, cool. Head down. this it's more so because I know what I can get like I could stack it it's not gonna it's not it's if it had 10 plates I'd be log them. like if I could fit 10 plates I can't so it's like I'll just flirt between seven and eight constantly and just make the rest better what's the chalk for help oh, grip Oh! Mm. 
Right, so you might be wondering why the video is called something related to tips. We haven't actually discussed what it's going to be called, but something related to tips. Now, in my opinion, a lot of the times where people go wrong in their training is just basic movement patterns and doing the same thing over and over and over again. Pulling work especially, but even pressing work. If you've done a incline press, you do not need to go back into that range of motion or line of force, should we say. And in reality, move on to something else. Like, I look upon quality upon what we can do in a certain, like, let's say, line of force, and then just move on. So for what we put sort of how we've kind of segued this session, we initially start off with a lateral raise, so side delt work, fish by bosh, simple. We then are going into our first main press. What do both me and Storm need? More upper chest, everybody needs more upper chest. So starting off with a upper chest bias press, with pretty much the, the elbow coming across, or the humerus coming across, pretty much that upper line, so there's gonna be a bit more bias towards those kind of, let's say, upper clavicular fibers. We're then gonna be going into a more vertical press, which is again, a bit more delt focus. So basically, main tip here, look upon quality, look upon different lines of force, keep it simple, just get stronger at them. So first one, when it comes to line of force, and it's basically this. So that, tip. Come on. Keep them going, mate. Yeah, good. Easy. Yeah. You're like, let's say you're looking proud, chest is high, scapula's attracted. And then as the set goes on, your shoulder position, see how your hips start to come up and then your shoulder position starts moving around. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you almost start losing that integrity through your upper back. The which again is normal. Yeah, yeah, and then you lose strength because yeah. you start rushing. Oh. The second that composure was lost, set was done. Yeah. And you end up losing out on a two fifth. reps. Yeah. And those are two vital reps. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the two reps that are potentially going to grow your chest, yeah. you know? Look at that. No wonder your chest is fucking shit, mate. That's why. <laughs> when your chest, when you get beat by someone with a bigger chest. I swear to God. Oh. <laughs> this no, is no, the no. session when, I'll no, when, you beat, when you beat someone with a massive chest, I'm going to say that session we got six months ago. Yeah, I remember everything. <laughs> You properly explode into it. Hmm? You properly explode into you it. You have to be. Like, especially on something like this. If not, like yeah. you obviously want to control it. Yeah. But that like initial yeah. change of direction, yeah. Like I'll feel really slow on the eccentric, and then when it comes to that initiation, yeah. it's like why waste time? Like yeah. just get slow, it off a slower concentric is not gonna be any beneficial towards hypertrophy. If yeah. anything, it's probably gonna be worse because you're gonna get less out of the set. Yeah. So like as long as you're not throwing the weight down, like if you were doing a really fast eccentric and just yeah. bouncing out, like right. that's shit, you know? Yeah. Right, so carrying on with the, the gym tips, um, obviously we're now into the vertical plane. So shoulder focus press. So we've already, like I said, done that kind of upper incline um, and now we're doing a vertical plane. Now, another tip I'll say is choose exercises that are actually suitable towards you and what your physique needs. So for example, if we would think about this Smith, this is an angled Smith. Most individuals when we press, especially in a vertical plane, no one gets on and suits a completely vertical press. It feels naff. There's a lot of shoulder issues that come from it. So this Smith, naturally angled, resulting in a pressing arc that actually goes up and back. This is a far more advantageous spot, especially for us to press upon with more musculature involved. So we're going for a bit more of a higher incline. A lot of people will say, I see TikTok comments all the time about like a shoulder press that I do, and people will say, that's not a shoulder press. And it's in reality, it's a vertical press that's biasing more front delt. So this is a shoulder press, but it's more so a high incline, whatever you want to quantify it as. And this is on the angled Smith. So this is a movement that suits me, Finn and Storm really well. Get a good amount of front delt out of it. Feels, like I said, really good internally and something that we can have a long runway with progression. If you're putting in a movement and you've got two weeks, three weeks of progression and then it feels awful, 
where you're going to go after six weeks, eight weeks, you're going to swap the exercise out, you're going to get back to the start and you're not going to progress and therefore not grow much muscle. So number two main tip, exercises suit you. That's why you just need to like give yourself a second at the top just to kind of remain like locked in, compose yourself, get your scapula back yeah. and get tight because there's no excuse for you not to be getting that last rep. Yeah. Like you literally pressed it and it was like, oh, died out. Yeah. Where if you die out on something like this, it's like there's usually a reason why. Right. Granted, you probably are going to be a bit more fatigued because you've done a good chest press. Yeah. So like, do your chest, does your chest and delts feel a little bit more tired yeah. than usual? Yeah. But you shouldn't be failing. <laughs> Fuck. It's fine, mate, honestly. Like, I don't think, if you, any time I ever train with someone new, it will always be the same. But it's yeah. what expected, you know? What? Yeah. Eagles mentioned during their story. Great, oh, this car parked heart rate through the roof. Right, so the last two presses were done for the session. So it was a cable press, um, pretty much like a horizontal emphasis. So if we think about the elbow, we've pretty much got like the, the sternal and costal region. There is a slightly upward trajectory, but to be fair, it's more so mid chest. If we look at like the elbow alignment in comparison to where it's coming across. And then also the resistance profile here is pretty much lighter in the, in the length and range and heavier in the short end. So placing an intentional pause in that length and range. And it's a movement that I connect really well with. I could do this movement when I'm fresh, connect really well. I could also do it towards the end of a session or towards the latter end of my pressing work and still connect really well with it. So that's pretty much what we were doing for the last like, horizontal sort of pressing movement and or to pressing movement in general. We then go into a technical press, but it's more of a tricep compound. So it's going to be the prime dip. Now, we actually have it loaded on, I think it's cam five. So basically this is the length and range. Now, as fatigue builds up, our ability to get muscles short, I don't, I'm not going to say it because everyone says it, but basically it's going to get harder. So what we do here is we're placing a more of an emphasis. So it drops off. So it's an emphasis in the length and drops off in that shortened range. So it's heavy here. And then as you're pressing, the weight drops off. What this basically does is allow us to kind of just get a milk a bit more out of the set, especially when fatigue is to a higher extent, which it is after doing six main pressing sets. So two sets there, we do pretty much a medium rep into a high rep and then into a drop set, just because it's the last main pressing work. Therefore, we're now done with the main pressing bit. So for general tips, if we think about again, alignment, we're doing different forces, different patterns of like movement and just getting the most out of what we can. Two sets of each, so two sets for upper chest, two sets for front delt, two sets for a little bit more lower chest, and then two sets for triceps with, again, a little bit of lower chest. So that's pretty much going to bulk make the bulk majority of the pressing work. We now go into the arm part. So Jim Leco is going to be the preacher. Really good, really, really good to be fair. So gonna do two sets here. We're then gonna be doing a overhead extension and then a probably a facing away cable curl. And that's probably gonna make up the, the session today. It's been a really good one, really good pump. Feel really good, really, really, really full been a wicked to, to see Storm in person and to kind of go through some sessions or go through some exercise with him and just see where things and stuff that we can manipulate is going to help his physique massively when it comes to this year to getting on stage and also in the being time of the off season that we have uh, until we start prep. So yeah, that'll be that. We'll go through a little bit more kind of chit chat towards the end of the session, make some reels as always, be on the lookout, Reese Fit. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, probably in the next one. Got slightly bigger arms. <laughs> Your biceps insert, like if you, funny it said, you have like this bit here that comes all the way down. Yeah. And I've always thought it looks like Finn has it where like I could do that and it's almost like straight. Yeah. Where with you, you've got like a little bit of a line that just comes down, like curves around. Yeah. yeah. It's genetics, but yeah. I remember when I saw Finn do it for the first time, I was like, what's happening, mate? Yeah, I was like, that's a bit weird. Follow. 
Come on, big arms. Come on, quality. So we just finished up a push and arm workout, really good, I've learned a lot, plus to be here, um, trained at ultra, really good, um, I think I beat Reese today, he's my excellent, <laughs> no, I'm lying, he did beat me but it was overall really good experience, did some posing at the end of the workout and just made me realise I need to practice more, but yeah. overall really good. Yeah. That was a good outro. Yeah, that was, that was, good. That, that was a good outro. We were saying beforehand, we were like, we've only got one mic. I don't know where Storm has put his mic. He's lost it, I think. So we didn't know where we were going to be like, oh, I'll, just, I'll let Storm do the outro. I didn't expect it to be that good. So yeah, that's the session, guys. Um, we stopped tracking. Uh, Storm beat me on the lateral raise. And then Atlantis Incline, I doubled his reps on the top set, back off set. Beat him on the Smith, went heavier. But I'm joking, I, sh I should be. I've got like 15 pounds of Storm. And also, like, Storm is a genetic, like, he's very, very strong. And it's really exciting to see how he's going to be doing this year. So, yeah, we pretty much went through the push and arm session. Really good session. Um, more so, like, little bits and bobs that I was saying in terms, like, when it comes to the triceps, when it came to, like, just certain bits of, like, bracing. The things that, realistically, it's not going to make a massive, massive difference at baseline levels. But if you are stepping on stage, those extra couple of percents, then they need to be sorted. So I said to him, more than welcome to jump in for future sessions. It'll be exciting because we'll probably maybe do a few, few future videos when he's actually into prep. Um, but the most important thing for today was just kind of getting those basics sorted and then also seeing where you're at visually. Because Storm, especially because he's got a good amount of muscle, it's always a challenging one. You can only do so much when you look at someone visually from photos or on WhatsApp and stuff like that. But when you see them in person, you go, okay, cool. You've actually got a little bit more runway to, to play with. So realistically, probably get another seven, eight pounds on over the next, like, let's say six to eight weeks, which will be fine. Not really, we don't need to be pushing it massively. We've got a good amount of muscle mass. It'll just be a case of making the most out of the current supplements and more so training and food and all that sort of stuff and just getting things into a good groove. And then for this year, we're aiming for pretty much like PCA finals, that sort of time for the last, let's say, last sort of show. Most likely a qualifying show, we'll have to do a qualifying show probably in September. So if anybody's doing the September shows, they better be good. They better be good because, yeah, yeah, we're, we're coming for it. So, yeah, that'll be good for, for PCA. And then to be fair, we might dip our feet into two bros, just seeing where he stacks up. Like, you're 20, is it 24, 25? I'm turning 24 in two days. So. You're 23? 20, yeah, 23. Yeah. So he's 23 um, at 255 pounds. Again, cool, exciting. So yeah, it'll be really, really good to see how he does this year. And, uh, and honestly, it's just a really, really good experience. So thank you for coming yeah. down, mate. You'll have to make it, have to make it like a few more times, definitely, yeah, throughout the next so, couple yeah. of weeks, next couple of months, it'll be good. So yeah, that's the video, guys. Pretty much that's that. Hopefully that was enjoyed. Story tags, all that, appreciated. We are going to be filming, not we, me, sorry Storm, you haven't got the invite. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's been sacked after one session. We're gonna be filming with Jacob at Be Modified. So the owner of Be Modified, we're gonna be filming our like leg pull session. It's pretty much just like a leg session with a hinge. Sam's gonna do a bit, a bit like a fly on the wall where, because we train pretty intensely in the world. Like we obviously, we train intensely today, but it's a lot more higher, let's say intensity movements, intensifiers, drop sets, my rep sets. And we don't, and it's like 90 minutes to two hours. We basically just kill each other for two hours. So that's gonna be like where we get Sam just to kind of film in the background and probably less so talking. So that'd be quite cool. So that's gonna be on Saturday. Um, but obviously that might, there might be a week or so difference between this video coming out and that video. Maybe more depending on Sam's turnaround skills sam any 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 chance of you know sam's just gave me one of them behind the camera so yeah that's the outro guys hopefully everyone's enjoyed like comment subscribe story share all that sort of stuff and we'll catch you guys in the next episode bye bye see you later bye bye